Happening now, Rhode Island Senate passes a bill to sabotage Trump's 2021 by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Rhode Island Senate just passed a bill that they hope will ruin Trump's uh, president, uh, president Trump's chances in 2020. The state now requires any presidential candidate to disclose their taxes. Isn't that precious? This sounds like another goofy liberal law that will be challenged and overturned. Hallelujah to that. From the Daily Caller on Tuesday, the road, uh, see, they have to use every trick in the book to try to sabotage him because they know he's going to win hands down. So getting back to the story from the Daily Wire on Tuesday, the Rhode Island State Senate, uh, Senate voted overwhelmingly uh, 34 to 3 in favor of a bill, uh, 2018-S2612A, that would require presidential candidates to release their tax records in order to be allowed on the state's primary and general election ballots. The bill states in part, A, not later than 63 days before a presidential uh, preference primary, all candidates for presidential nomination shall, one, file with the State Board of Elections a copy of their federal income tax returns for at least five years, most recent taxable years for which a return has been filed with the Internal Revenue Service. D, presidential candidate who fails to comply with the disclosure regulations of this section shall not appear on the official presidential primary ballot. Candidates for president and vice president who fail to comply with the disclosure regulations of this section shall not appear on the official general ballot election ballot. The bill will now uh, head to the Rhode Island House of Representatives. Senator Gail Golden, a Democrat, of course, released a statement regarding the bill, which she sponsored, of course, because she's a Democrat idiot. Uh, especially considering his vast real estate holdings and the wide reach of his family's companies and assets, President Trump's lack of transparency raises significant questions about how he may be personally benefiting from the tax overhaul he prompted and signed. We could not help but question every uh, carve out for businesses like those for real estate holdings and allowing the PGA to maintain its nonprofit status and wonder what his personal benefit is going to be. Because of his refusal to release his returns, we will uh, never know how his personal investments might affect his decision regarding anything from foreign policy to relations with our neighbors, and that is an aff uh, affront to the rest of us who are taxpayers for the sake of ensuring fair government, we should enact our expectation that presidential candidates provide this information to the public. Well, according to Ballotpedia, the Rhode Island House of Representatives is comprised of 64 Democrats and 11 Republicans. If political affiliation is any indication, the House will likely vote to pass the legislation. The state uh, Senate which uh, voted 34 to 3 in favor of the bill is compromise uh, is comprised excuse me of 33 democrats and four republicans and i guess we have a rhino in there cuz one of the republicans voted for what the democrats wanted but they're saying that um the uh, this probably uh won't pass so but do you see what I'm saying? They have no platform, so they have to use every trick in the book. I got news for them that Trump won't even need them. But you know what the thing is? The liberal state of California might put something up like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, who knows what these Democrats, but you know what? Uh, you know, I say uh, see what you can do to stop these people because they're not looking for the good of the country. They're just looking... Uh, to sabotage this country because when they sabotage Trump they sabotage the American people and the will of the American people f uh, that stand for America now the rest of them whoever doesn't like America can be shipped out to whichever country of your choice and uh, we'll we'll collect donations and ship you out ourselves uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching